What's your situation with women and relationships? Mm. Because I imagine being the way you are, you would have extremely high standards mm. of picking a potential partner. Is that something you're entertaining or are you just like tunnel vision focused at the moment? Because I, I, I know from my own experience. Yeah, what's, your, what's, your, what's your opinion? What's your, what's, your, what's, your, what's your take on that? So I think during my 20s, particularly my late 20s, when I finally like was content with who I was, had the confidence, had the chat, had, you know, you got age on your side as well, like you feel more mature more importantly you got money you got status i did everything which i wanted to do and i entertained like i spent a lot of time going on dates going on holidays like just time with women and i've come to the realization now that that is not an efficient use of my time and i think i'm in a position now especially with the way things are going the momentum that's built up the opportunities that are coming my way i don't think i it's a good time to be in a relationship mm. and i think it's it would be unfair to try and be in a relationship with someone who maybe you know wants a boyfriend who can spend more time with them and go do this with them do that with them whatever it might be i think i might just have to go off and do my own thing at this point in time i was asked earlier today by by somebody i was sitting with who said they they, they just recently uh they had a trade job they're an electrician and like hey you know what i'm thinking about getting into the dating scene maybe have like $10,000 to their name, $5,000. I'm like, is that on your list of priorities, right? So it all comes down to priorities. It's not whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's what is it that you're trying to accomplish in life? Like, what is your plan? Mm -hmm. Is a woman as, as beautiful as they are, as, as fun as it is to have them around, is that on your list of priorities as a man? Or are there things that top that list of priorities that are more important? So for me, I've only been to, on one date my entire life. Uh, I've only been with one woman my entire life, uh, and I've been with her for for quite some time. But you still with it? Yes, yes. And the reason being, and I've never shared this. And the reason being is, uh, I'm a person that that's content. You know, I rather I get DMs every single day. You mm. know what I mean? But I don't want to entertain the divisiveness of energy. You only have X amount of time and energy in the day, right? So I want to make sure that the energy that I'm inputting is returning in some way, shape or form. People go on dates. Okay, what do you get from it? Okay, you get some pussy. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, you get some exhilarating fun. Perfect. You also ruin some people's lives in the process. But what are you getting from that? Okay. Okay, there might be some people that have different philosophies. You can go pick up chicks. Or people can do whatever the fuck they want. Like, I honestly don't care. But I also know the level of distraction and the amount of effort that is required to be in that scene, to be doing those things. And to me, it's just not on my list of priorities. Not whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just on my level of priorities that is so far down the totem pole mm. that a good thing at the wrong time can be a bad thing. It's like giving a razor to a baby and expecting the baby not to get cut. It's, the problem isn't the razor. The problem isn't the dating. The problem isn't the woman. Maybe the problem is you. Mm. Maybe you're in a situation where you can't handle a relationship. Maybe you're in a situation where you need to focus on yourself. Maybe you're in a situation where you need to develop. You need to become a man. So I, I, I have a friend who's um, <clears throat> he's in a similar situation, has no money, struggling to make money, but he's having the time of his life and he is in a relationship and he's also trying to pay for her as well. Yeah, everything. It's, it's fucking madness. And bro. he's like, he's, he's trapped. Absorbed. Yeah, he can't, he, he's living with her, spending far too, like, just way too much time with her. Any money that comes in, half of it has to go to her. And he doesn't get any time to himself to build something that's actually gonna earn him money. I think, the, brother, I think the important thing is number one, boundaries. People get into relationships and they assume that they have to be with somebody the entire day, all day long. Dude, I travel four, four five, six months out of the out of the year by myself, mm -hmm. do my own thing. I don't need to be out here on a couch watching Netflix, hugging and cuddling every single day. What the fuck is that bullshit? I'm not I'm not doing that. If so you look you, at- You found someone who is- Stable, brother. That. Because you set the parameters ahead of any sort of interaction and relationship, setting mm. the boundaries and letting people know, hey, this is my life. This is this what is, I do. And and welcome to welcome, welcome on board. And if you're not on board, like, sorry, but that's the name of the game. And that doesn't mean I need to find 90 different girls, 10 different girls. That just means I need to understand what's my mission, what's my purpose, what's my priority. And based off of that spectrum, do, right? Like we talked about, obey that list of priorities that you're in. Mm. That's the first part. The second part as a person with a lot of money, with a lot of connections, with a lot of resources, this concept of being a playboy, this concept of going and sleeping with a ton of women or being unfaithful is popularized per se, but it's not for me. Mm -hmm. I 
believe in loyalty. I believe in integrity. And if trust isn't there, right? What's and if the, I can't, what's the point? And if I can't be in a situation whereby I can be an honest person, then how can my community expect me to be honest with them? Mm. If I can't honor the person that I sleep in bed with, how can I honor everybody? How am I going to honor my business partner? I was once sitting with a, a guy we went golfing. I didn't golf. I was just watching it. I don't play golf. And he had just canceled a $100 million deal that he had because he found out that the guy who was going to do the deal with uh, had cheated on his wife. And he sat there and he looked at me and I was like, dude, you canceled a $100 million deal. It's just business. I was like, it's not just business. If he cheated on the person that he sleeps with, there's a high likelihood that he'll cheat on me. Yeah. And it's like, it's not that it's going to happen or not. It's the fact that there is character flaws that can be changed that a person needs to work on. So it's a personal taste. It's not on my list of priorities. I like to hang out with the boys. I like to do my thing. But uh, I'm a digital stoic, brother. I got my uh, sexual energy under control. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that's so important. Yes. To, I was speaking to Chris about this. Um, being in control of your desires or actually choosing what it is that you want to desire. Because mm. if you desire the wrong things, then you're naturally just always going to be unhappy until you get whatever it is that you want. I think Naval said something like that. He has a quote. And living in the primal state, everybody wants to live in the fucking and eating state. Like those are the two most primal states that you can be in. Mm -hmm. Fucking and eating. That's what most people just do all day. And if it's not having sex, it's jerking off. Like it's the two biggest dopamine hits. There's more to life. Mm -hmm. At some point, sex gets old. No, it doesn't get old. Da, 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 da. Oh, just, so I'm in conversation. But at some point, brother, there's other things to accomplish in life. And that's kind of the things that I'm trying to pursue. So find a good relationship. Find a person that allows you to live your life, that allows you to be you. Mm. Uh, set the parameters that give freedom, uh, but do it in a sense of respect, be loyal, have integrity, and ultimately understand where this idea of relationships or dating falls on your list of priorities. But if you're a broke motherfucker, bro, maybe you, you can't be chasing the, the women. Maybe you got to be chasing the paper, bro. Yeah, you have to you have to make that priority. You have to, bro. From my experience. You have to sacrifice. Yeah. If there's, if there's anything which I become obsessed with and I'm like, right, that that's on the top. I want to make this happen. Mm. Usually it happens. So that's all I'm thinking about. Yes. So if you're not becoming like, for example, my physique, if I was just obsessed, I wanted to have the best physique. I go and make it happen. Yes. If I get obsessed with, oh, I want to sleep with loads of women, I go and make that happen. Yes. If I'm obsessed with making loads of money and building a business, you'll make that happen. So you just need to decide, okay, what is the thing that's going to be a priority? There's a verse in the Bible that says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So whatever you're thinking about, that's who you will become. Mm. Because thoughts lead to actions, actions lead to habits, habits lead to lifestyle. And that lifestyle is what dictates who you are, brother.